how to obtain the maximum likelihood estimator for the exponential distribution. It's quite simple. To obtain the maximum likelihood estimator of this exponential distribution, we need to know what the likelihood function is. The likelihood function is the product of the function. So we we'll take the product of this function and we should recall that the solution to the maximum likelihood estimator is just the differential law is the differential law of this. Equal to zero. So that is it. What do we do next? We bring down this, which is the lightning function. So instead of putting this, we put the exponential distribution, which is one all over theta exponential minus x all over theta. So if we take the product of this, it means the product of this, we get something like this. One all over theta. One exponential minus x one all over theta. Multiply by because this sign means product. 1 all over theta squared exponential minus x 2 theta multiplied by and it continues like that for me to get 1 all over theta and exponential minus x i over theta. So if we get something like this, all we need to do is to put them together. If we put it together, we get something like this. The likelihood estimator will now become one all over theta. to the power of n exponential this is the product so we want to take the sum of this x to give us minus summation of x r of c to the shading from the n so this is what we will get Just like what we have stated here already, that the solution to the maximum likelihood estimator is the differential law of the likelihood function. So we take the log, we take the log of this function. The log will give us n log. 1 all over theta plus if you take the log of this exponential function you get something like this summation of x i all over theta this is all we get the next thing to do is to take the differential logarithm of this function. If you take the differential, it differentiate with respect to theta. If you differentiate this, because of this one here, we have minus n all over theta. This sign is minus. 
selection of x r over theta. But we have not different superiors. So what we do is that we use the quotient rule to differentiate this function. So we use the quotient rule, we say that V D U all over we are differentiating the respect to the C side. Minus U D V all over the T side. All over V square. If we take this to the U and we take this to the V, we say this is V. V, V also is theta, V U all over the theta. Since there is no value for theta here, it becomes zero. Minus U, we bring it down, which is X, summation of XI. Multiply by the V all over the theta. The V all over the theta. If you differentiate this, you get one. All over V theta squared. So what we have if we differentiate this all together, we get something like this. It implies we get something like this. N all over theta. minus what we have here minus solution of xi all over theta squared like we said here if we have this if we take the differential rule we will also equate it to zero so it means minus n all over theta this will give us the summation of xi over theta squared is equal to zero. It means from mathematics, if you take the LCM, you get theta squared all over. This divided by this, you get theta minus n theta plus divided by this is one, one multiplied by this, we get summation of x i, which is equal to zero. So we continue further to this place. So it takes this multiplied by zero to give zero. So we have minus n theta plus solution of x i is equal to zero. This area for one time. Which means minus n theta is equal to minus summation of x i. I run for one time. So this will cancel this. All we need to do is to divide both sides by n. We have n theta divided by n is equal to summation of x i divided by n. So this n can cancel this to give us theta which is equal to summation of x i all over and of course, we know that this is mean. It means something which is x bar. So the maximum likelihood estimator for theta is the estimator for theta will now be equal to x bar. So this is how to obtain the maximum likelihood estimator for theta for the exponential distribution.